strong this season, visiting Victory Lane and being a factor during the month of August and September, a big factor. And Bacorda always consistent in the competition here. Ray came to life. Quintiliano was the fastest car in the house, and Glenn Reen, he can get the job done in just about anything. But he's proven that this is a championship team and a championship car. Get ready, it's showtime off turn number four. Lights are off from the safety vehicle at the point. Staring them down, Chris Gambato. Double greens are flying in the air. And Gamba Corda and Paul Roo. Trouble now, a Roots car. Heavy on the binders, three wide. Here comes Michael Bennett, the Magnum, on the outside. And it puts the Alpine Tree Company car to the front of the class. To contend for second, here comes Leary, the color green, and Ray. And guess what? Tom Fern isn't about to be left out of this one. Off the turn with one lap into the record books. Here comes Michael Bennett, the Magnum. Slingshot move. Bennett takes over position number one. Gamba Corda drops back to two. Matt, we've got a dicing and slicing for position number three. It's Tommy Furman with the inside track as he is able to roller coaster his way around the 11 of Leary. Also moving in is Michael Ray in car number 42. And Ray has something to say as he swashbuckles his way underneath Leary. And pulling away right now is Michael Bennett. Did the damage early. While all that's been happening, Mike Quintiliano is threading the needle through traffic rather impressively. Leary drops back to the fifth spot. Who is the fastest car on the racetrack? It is Michael Bennett with a 21.082. Gamma Corda, last time by, a 4.54 and Fern a 3.26. And let's see if Fern can do something about moving in a second as he is rocked to the back bumper of the Kevin Gamba quarter car. And now Reed is starting to make a racket. He goes underneath Paula Root. And Glenn Reed, who started 12th out of 13 cars, is able to get the position. The Vassar machine has a clutch problem dropped out of the event. Back up front, Tom Fern moves into second. Ray is all over Gamba Corda. Quintiliano is up into the top five. Look at Michael Ray, Matt. He moves into third, and he takes with him that white number 44 of Mike Quintiliano. Boy, the sparks are flying, and so is Michael Ray, as he is able to helter-skelter his way underneath that number 42 car. And here is Leary. Leary trying to make a move as he pilots his way. Underneath Paula Road, he will pick up the position. And now to be outdone, here is Glenn Reed making the same move. Glenn Reed is coming to the front with the skill of a surgeon. He continues to slice and cut his way to the front of the field. Now Paula Root comes to life. Amber Corner drops back a position here. Back up front, Bennett is still the man in command. 7 of 30, now into the record books. Look at timing and scoring. Bennett's last lap was a 197. Burns was a 277. The only car as close was Glenn Reed, and he had a 310. Mike Quintiliano getting pretty adventuresome. He almost made a move in turn number two against Ray, but said he would what he does this time as the outlaw, as a player. His favorite position on the track is turn number two. Trying to bury that car underneath Ray, but nothing happens. There's no question about it as they thunder down the back straightaway. Mike Quintiliano takes a shot at the bottom. Michael Ray gathers it back. They come together like two cymbals in an orchestra, but at the strike, it is Ray, but in turn one, Matt, I think it changed. And Quintiliano is able to trouble for Leary. Leary spins around in turn number two, drifts back up the track, but everybody is able to avoid him. As Leary, that car got out from under him between cars with the number 11 car. Now that is a real obstacle for Glenn Reed because remember, Tom Ford is only five positions behind him, trailing by 10 points. Right now, Fern is in second, and Rain will be in the wilderness, in the dungeon at the rear of the field. Now remember, we're only a third of the way complete in this 30-lap event, and there is no love affair between 
Michael Bennett and Tom Fern. They're diehard, tough racers, and they get every ounce of their race car out on every turn of this racetrack. And Bennett with a jump. Let's see if he can maintain it. Having something to say about it is Fern. And now Fern will settle into second as Michael Bennett pulls away again. While that's been happening, Gamba Gorda and Mike Quintiliano look at Ray. Ray moves to the inside. Fern, what a great job of gathering it back. They come off the turn sideways, but at the line, it is still Fern, not by much, as Fern and Ray are side by side and wheel to wheel. Now Ray will have his way as he is able to scalpel his way into second. And Fern, he did a great job just to hang on to that car in turn four. Now Gamba Corda is able to fireball underneath Tommy Fern, and Gamba Corda moves into the top three. Another one of the deal makers tonight is Paul Arup. Arup now. What a, what a move. Threading the needle. Arup moves into the fourth spot. Here comes Glenn Reed. Remember, you talked about it just a little while ago, the importance of Glenn Reed and the battle with Tom Fern. As Ford is losing positions, Reed is gaining as Ford right now in seventh place, and Reed gets fired. So a great move by Reed to move into the top five. Tyler Leary's car still has become evil. It drops further back in the field. But for Michael Bennett, the Magnum, he's the quickest rabbit in the field, and the big dogs are chasing him. Last time by, Bennett, a 164. Michael Ray, your second place car, a 505. And get Florida, your third place car, a 481. Now, Mike Quintiliano has had his moments tonight, and he is looking for another one as he tries to shimmy underneath the number 31 of Reed. Can't get close enough to make that happen. So, Reed, with just a couple of laps, he really improved his championship status. Made a move underneath Paul Root, and Paul Root was able to protect his surf. Paul Root really has been very strong in this event. Meanwhile, keep your eyes on Gamba Corda as he starts to apply even more pressure to Ray. Times are almost identical, but now Kevin Gamba Corda has picked up his time with a 427 to Ray's 494. Now, we had not seen the finishing kick that Gamba Corda is famous for during the last few weeks, so maybe it will come back tonight as he is looking for a little bit of daylight. He might have found it as Ray is able to hold him off, but a player gave up to again. Well, that's been happening all of a sudden. Glenn Rain went around the number 82 machine to pick up a spot, and Mike Quintiliano, Mike Quintiliano also was looking racy there as well. If this keeps up, it could develop into a good point night. For Glenn Reed. It didn't look like it was going to happen about five laps ago. He is approaching Ray, and Tyler Leary hasn't given up. He is going by the veteran, Wayne Corey Sr. 19 of 30 into the record books. Michael Bennett, 386, last time by. And Bakota, a 575, and Michael Ray, a 617. And Tyler Leary is in eighth place. A few laps ago, he was in 13th. Gamba Corda has some company behind him. Leading the charge is Tommy Fern, also uh, in there in his hip pocket. He's Quintilly Hill. And uh, Michael Ray making some noise. Glenn Reed. Let's see if Reed can get on the beat. At number 42, a little love tap to the back bumper. And that slowed down his momentum, and Quintiliano is trying to strike. They come off the turn, and Quintiliano was among the quickest cars in practice today, and he continues to really try to follow Glenn Reed to the front of the field. Glenn Reed has had a kind of a roller coaster night. He taps to the back bumper of Ray. Quintiliano gives him a smooch. Full of affair there, and now Tom Firth is back into it. Four cars contending for position number two. And let's see if Reed will try it again in the fight for third against Michael Ray. And Reed has to be careful because breathing down his tailpipe is Mike Quintiliano all by his own hemisphere. 
Here's Michael Bennett in the 16. He crossed the start finish line, and the rest of the field was still in turn four. Consistency was the story for Michael Bennett. Lap after lap in timing and scoring, and now he still is turning the quickest laps of the event. Here comes Reed underneath the 42 of Ray. Even and Reed will be able to swish his way ahead. A little contact between Quintiliano and Ray, but it's Quintiliano taking over that position. Remember, Quintiliano is not running in the points, but Tom Fern is, and Michael Ray is, and so is it Glenn Reed. Reed continues to hold on and guard that third place spot with less than five circuits to go. Well, if the race headed right now, Glenn Reed would pick up four points on Tom Ford, and Ford is still in a position to do something about that. He desperately wants to get by the outlaw, Mike Quintiliano, leading by almost a half a track, Michael Bennett. This is one of the most dominating performances in his career. It certainly is, and there's no question about it. That car was dialed in and running on rails here tonight. Speed up. Getting by the 74, Sean Tebow. And Tebow is struggling on the back stretch, heading into turn three. And in second is Gamba Corda. And Reen is not given up. So out of the race for the time being is Sean Tebow. We only have three to go. Time is starting to run out. 27 of 30 now complete. This time when Michael Bennett, the Magnum, comes back to the line. He said he wasn't running for the title in 2017. He was running for the wins. And he's lived up to that reputation so far. Best battle for second and third. Gamba Corda knows he is going to get a challenge from Glenn Reed. They blockbuster their way into the second quarter. Also, Quintiliano holding off for Ray is behind them, followed by Paul Arun. But the man in the spotlight all by himself, Michael Bennett. Bennett looking to secure a victory for his car owner on the birthday. It is Bingo's birthday, and what a great way to celebrate. Final time to turn number three. The Alpine Tree Company, number 16. DSI Harley-Davidson, the bingo race car for Chase Bennett. And the Magnum will take down the win. Here comes Gamma Corda trying to put the finishing touches on second. He does. Green is third and Quintiliano fourth. Fifth is Tommy Bird. Sixth is Michael Ray. Seventh Dodge, is a very excited Michael Bennett. Five-time feature winner this year in the NASCAR late model division. And uh, the Magnum's on fire tonight. Nobody had anything for the 16. Yeah, I, I didn't have to do much here. I just turned to left. I think uh, this, this car is incredible. Uh, my guys, uh, we work so hard on this darn thing every week in the show's you know, if we didn't have a few mishaps and a few part failures in the beginning of the year, we might have been racing these guys for a championship, but uh, it feels great to win. There's, there's no doubt about it. Two in a row, you know, five this year. I can't do it without my awesome spot sponsors, uh, Alpine Tree Company, Start Finish Productions, Ben Dodge, uh, Bingo for this awesome race car and everything we need every week to come racing here at Stafford Speedway. Tom and Napa, my wonderful kids, my wife, um, Chris Tett TSI Harley Davidson, uh, Tom, like I said, Tom and Napa, Snoko Race Fuels, GM uh, General Contracting, Hilltop Restaurant. Awesome car by Rad uh, Engine. Obviously, it's making short. That guy that, you know, I grew up watching and a lot of us did. And, you know, he, uh, he sent it down to the turn 300 next to from Order Speedway and uh, looking forward to the, the fall final next week. There he is, a class act. He goes to victory lane and driving that number 16 car in the late models, Michael Bennett. Let's talk to our next two finishers with Darren Ayotte. Thanks, John, with Kevin Gambacord. I don't know if anybody had anything for Michael Bennett, but Kevin Gambacord had something for the championship at least. Come home with a side. And one step forward with one week to go. Take us through your race today. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know, we struggled at the start there. And then uh, it kind of got a little better. You know, we were pretty close other than the 16. So, uh, you know, it was a good race. Obviously, uh, we all know what we're thinking about tonight. But um, I just want to thank everybody that helps me, my family, and uh, the guys that come and help me every week. I can thank the Big Pines. They helped me this week. Um, 
Model Machine, Dave Miller, with him. I would be racing without him. Jay Stewart, Writing and Signs, um, A&D Portables, Zappa Studios, Life Care Family Chiropractic, and uh, Levine Law. I, I really appreciate everything these guys do for me. All right, second place, Kevin Gamble Corner gets a chance to celebrate with his two kids as well. That's always an added bonus. Now we'll bring in the man he's chasing for that championship, Glenn Reed, with one week to go. And Glenn, a little bit of mixed emotions when you got out of the car. Hard fought third place finish, but take us through how difficult it was to get back onto the podium after trying to work your way from the rear. Well, I, uh, first of all, I think we're all heavy hearts today with Ted not being here. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not right. It's, not, it's very weird. Um, but I definitely know how Ted feels now after they put him to the back when he was trying to win his championship. Uh, so very frustrated. Absolutely very frustrated. I cannot thank these guys enough in the RRC camp. They never give up. Uh, and neither do I, as you can tell. So hard fought third. We're just going to come and get him next week. I got to thank all my sponsors, too. I got to thank Life Care, Family Chiropractic, Wheel and Engineering. I got to thank Team Fox. I got to thank New England Race Fuel. I got to thank Alpine Tree Service, um, and I got to thank Pioneer Valley Wheel Repair as well as TA Engines. Buzzy Transmissions, I always forget him. He's got great transmissions, and uh, these guys worked their butts off today. All right, good luck next week. Should be a big one for the fall final. Just 10 points to decide the winner of the late model championship. Glenn Rain looking for that championship victory. That does it for the late models, but a lot more action still to come, Ben.